What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel. And we have a really interesting discussion to be had today, folks, because when evaluating the trade market and the trade market alone, Billy Epler, the GM for the New York Mets, Billy Big Bucks, as I love to call him, can go down a plethora of different avenues to address his team post lockout. And in doing so, has stated already this offseason his willingness to think outside the box when not just landing any player, but players that are maybe undesirable from their current clubs that would come to the Mets and still bring some benefits to them, along with potentially some other assets in doing so. And there's one team and one player that does stick out to make this type of scenario a reality that being the minnesota twins and their power bat of a third baseman in josh donaldson so that's what we'll be breaking down in today's video everything that there is to know about josh donaldson and his game his current connection if at all with the new york mets the likelihood unlikelihood of a trade transpiring and some other assets along with donaldson that could make sense for the team in queens so as always folks make sure you stay all the way till the end of the video follow the details on my thoughts on josh donaldson and his game if a trade can be had here and again folks if you find yourself enjoying this kind of mets content and you want to see more great mets kind of like this don't hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe button sharing this video with your friends on the notification bell all those great things thank you all so much for the continued support folks now let's jump right into today's video all right, folks, so this all stems from originally what Billy Epler stated a couple months ago and was refreshed my memory from my good friend Joe DeMeo, who tweeted this back out. So shout out to Joe, great writer for SNY. But as you see here, back around November 24th, Billy Epler, when he first became GM for the Mets, was on a radio show for MLB Network and was staying, you know, the stats at the time for the Mets, this was pre-Max Scherzer and pre-other signings, was that there is a willingness on his part to go down trade avenues to land players that maybe aren't on the prettiest contracts, but knowing that the Mets are fully capable of eating those contracts and still utilizing those players to what degree depends on the player of course and also either gain some significant prospects in return for taking on that entire contract or just some players that could bring value to the Mets right away it's a smart way of thinking for a Mets team that has the highest payroll in baseball right now that will continue to is going to push probably past 300 million if I had a guess from the moves that they still have to be had here and if they're willing to do something like this it does tell you that yes money is strictly a number for Steve Cohen and that's proven to be true to this point in the offseason but when looking at teams that could be a potential trade partner for the Mets with going down this route assuming Billy Epler is still willing to do so post lockout as he creatively showed interest pre lockout and going for an undesirable contract to take on a nice prospect in doing so or at least some nice young assets that can make sense for the Mets right now and in the future the Minnesota Twins have always stood out and going back to last season yes the Mets have had plenty connections and plenty interest with Minnesota and specifically Josh Donaldson this report from Michael Mayer is a good example leading up to the trade deadline pre Prior to it, at least the Twins were scouting multiple prospects for the Mets, and doing so, the Mets had interest in Jose Brios before he got traded to the Toronto Blue Jays. Josh Donaldson, of course, Taylor Rogers, reliever that we'll be touching on in the video shortly. That makes a lot of sense for the Mets, and also other players that aren't listed here. And Kenta Maeda was thrown out there at the trade deadline. Byron Buxton was a player that the Mets were reportedly considering before he, of course, stayed put and then ended up signing that massive extension this offseason. So the Mets have been connected to the Twins for a little bit now, and Josh Donaldson is someone that yes, do I? think he's a perfect third base fit no i do not but he is someone that the mets are going to be willing to eat a contract he's probably the best contract out there to eat knowing that he can still very well be a very effective player for the mets with a team that's still looking for potentially help at third base if they don't necessarily feel too comfortable with our water escobar i think that they are but they still want to address it a little bit more in my mind but also taking on younger assets and doing so the 36 year old in donaldson who has two years left at 21 mil aav before he then has a club option after the 2023 season could be beyond feasible for the Mets. Because coming out of his 11th MLB season, Josh Donaldson has continued to prove to be a massive power bat in that infield for whatever team has him. His second year in Minnesota proved to be awfully impressive still at the age of 35, with 135 games played and just shy of 550 at-bats, 26 home runs, 73 runs scored, 72 RBIs for a 247, 352, and 475 clip, a 124 WRC+, plus, which is really solid, a 2.2 war with defense of course being the biggest issue with them but still plenty of offense and someone throughout his career that just continues to rake for Mr. Rain himself as long as he is in the lineup you're getting easily 25 to 30 plus home runs his best career year came almost just a couple years ago in 2019 was surely won them in his age 33 season his one year with Atlanta that killed the Mets the entire year might he had he had 37 bombs 94 RBIs he's also at 33 and 78 37 and 99 41 and 123 29 and 98 24 and 93 for a career 251 home run hitter 700 plus rbis a clip of 269 367 505 and a 137 career wrc plus is showing that year in and year out josh donaldson as long as he's healthy and is in the lineup 
he is still going to get you a boatload of offensive production, plenty of home runs. And again, the biggest thing with him to this point has really just been standing out. Yes, his defense isn't what it used to be for sure. And I do believe that Josh Donaldson profiles best as a DH because specifically when you look further here as numbers through baseball savant, they're just a thing of beauty. Look at the high 90 percentile with the exit velo, with everything that's going on here. He's been doing a fantastic job. And then the OAA, which is outs above average, surprisingly, Donaldson was still a plus player in that category in the 65 percentile but looking through fan graphs as defense he was a negative eight which was far worse than someone like yes jd davis to put things in perspective so it's a little weird how to weigh dallison as defense he's someone who i do think is going to continue to get worse at the corner unfortunately but is someone that again you can have at third base especially on the short term until someone like brett Beatty is ready and then you can have get creative with what you want to do with eduardo escobar jeff mcneil in that infield are you going to trade jeff mcneil you're going to keep him you have flexibility there and also putting dallison at the occasional DH, you know, maybe he's going to be prioritized there or not. If the Mets are willing to take on a contract like Donaldson, then they certainly are not going to be concerned with the likes of a Robinson Cano and others on this club that maybe are guys without positions, knowing that they can either eat those contracts, trade them, do whatever they have to do, but to make sure that the Mets are still going to have continued success, Donaldson brings that veteran leadership and is someone that the Mets would be able to buy low on and potentially even get a top 10 prospect out of. As long as they say get, you know, an outfield or a starting pitching prospect that the twins do have a plethora of and their latter half their top 10 gain into their middle of the teens or if the mets want to go down a route that would also make sense for them by going after a player that they inquired on at least have showed interest this offseason and now we discuss plenty right in these videos links in the description as always folks to yes taylor rogers the southpaw reliever that i've broken down thoroughly in separate videos as i mentioned already so not to harp on too much but taylor rogers would be an absolutely perfect get from the mets and someone that you can package with a josh donaldson to really get the best of both the world's Rogers value would go down Rogers only has a year left he's in his arbitration year and then he's a free agent after this upcoming season something that the twins probably don't necessarily want to deal with I know the twins are in a limbo right now are they going to compete are they going to be you know above 500 we're going to find out they're still going to try to do their best to win but they're a team that I'm sure will be willing to have open years especially to parting ways with that horrendous contract at least in their mind that being in Josh Donaldson and Rogers who had a 3.35 year rate but a 2.55 times year rate in 2021 and a career 3.1 five-year rate would automatically be your best probably available option to replace Aaron Loop. That's why the Mets showed interest in him to a certain level. We don't know exactly how much that we talked about from Mike Puma's report shortly after the Mets lost down Aaron Loop to the Angels earlier this offseason. He just makes perfect sense for a guy that could potentially be your southpaw on your bullpen for multiple years going forward. He's been a dominant reliever with his offseason stuff and will continue to do so. So pair him along with Donaldson. The Mets, what would they have to cough up? Multiple assets depending on exactly if they're going for Donaldson and prospect or Donaldson and someone like Rogers. That's where things get more costly, but nothing that would probably break the bank for the Mets when it comes to asset wise. They don't want to do that right now when evaluating trades. You're looking at JD Davis makes a lot of sense along with plenty of other assets I think could fit Minnesota, but nothing that's going to hurt the Mets right now. That's only going to benefit them to land Rogers to help solidify the bullpen and get that lefty that can be your closer, your setup man, however you wish. And also gain Josh Donaldson who has that snarl, who always has that playoff mentality, who I really think would benefit well under someone like Yes Buck Showalter. You can utilize him in various ways. Again, doesn't have that versatility that Billy Upper loves. But again, if you're going to eat a contract out of all the players out there, Josh Donaldson is clearly still the most effective offensively and is someone that clearly would help the Mets right now in this win now stage on trying to win a championship starting in 2022 and beyond. So Mets fans, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about the Mets and potentially getting a trade down with the Twins that would go after, yes, a Josh Donaldson, maybe a Taylor Rogers too, if not a prospect to take on Donaldson's contract. Do you like that idea? Do you not like that idea? Do you prefer that the Mets say go after position players in free agency, which I do think is exactly what they would do first and foremost, or potentially other trade routes like we've talked about in previous videos and we'll continue to do so. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below as always, folks. And again, if you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this, don't hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends, put on the notification bell, all those great things. Thank you all so much for the continued support, folks. More great content here on Wardy NYM per usual, and I'll talk to you soon. Let's go Mets, baby.